The verses will be in 9 through 20. <clears throat> the Lord is a refuge for the oppressed, a stronghold in times of trouble. Those who know your name will trust in you. For you, Lord, have never forsaken those who seek you. Sing praises to the Lord, enthroned in Zion. Proclaim among the nations what he has done. For he who avenges blood remembers he does not ignore the cry of the afflicted. Yes. O Lord, see how my enemies persecute me. Have mercy and lift me up from the gates of death, that I may declare your praises. And there rejoice in your salvation. The nations have fallen into the pit they have dug. Their feet are caught in the net they have hidden. The Lord is known by his justice. The wicked are ensnared by the work of their hands. Selah. The wicked return to the grave, all the nations that forget God. But the needy will not always be forgotten, nor the hope of the afflicted ever perish. Arise, O Lord, let not man triumph. Let the nations be judged in your presence. Strike them with terror, O Lord. Mm -hmm. Let the nations know they are but men. Amen. 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 We will now have Lydia read to us from the New Testament. Would you please rise for the word of God? Verses 35 through 41. On that day, when evening had come, he said to them, Let us go across to the other side. Mm -hmm. And leaving the crowd, they took him with them, just as he was in the boat. And other boats were with him. And a great storm of wind arose. And the waves beat into the boat, so that the boat was already filling. But he was in the stern, asleep on the cushion. And they woke him and said to him, Teacher, do you not care if we perish? And he awoke and rebuked the wind and said to the sea, Peace be still, and the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. He, was, he said to them, Why are you afraid? Have you no faith? And they were filled with awe and said to one another, Who then is this, that even wind and sea obey him? The word of God for the people of God. 